information at issue 8, ladies and gentlemen. Yup. Interesting. It. Hey, I'm going to be in touch for me, and I'm going to submit issue 8, the series that came out today. Now, do it. Now, we're going to be able to look at the series to the video for today, but since they're pretty much they went to hell, and since, well, I'm on uh, time time limit, um, I decided to physically do something else. Yep. I'm going to talk about the Super Issue 8 presentation because this is really, really important to me. And since I'm a huge Jumping Summer Kent fan, this actually evolves a lot of me, well, a lot of emotional baggage. Yep. Since my last video did a lot of rant, these are getting more calmer and more freaking less than less rage. Yep. <laughs> as best I could. Anyway. So, join me on the Ancient Ancient News. See ya. Alright, um, as you tell me intro, you can tell me into about this news. Why? You'll find out. Let's just start. According to the story that we have here from Super H from Comfortline, and I quote, The epic secret of Superman continued to unfold. Yep. A few months in space with his parental grandfather, Joel, changed John Kent forever. Yep. With John now seeking help from his father, the man, the man of steel, measuring about the war his son and father fought together, and set right the wrong the father may have unleashed on other worlds. Yep. See what changed Superboy in such a radical way as the Union Star continues. Comes out um February twenty twenty. At the at the end of the next. Oh, I don't look. Um, as you all know, I'm a fan of this huge kind of change. Why? Because I didn't remember before, I mean, he found a job in the Seven Kings Superboy as a kid, when he, when he was a 10 year old boy. Not a teenager. And when Bendis did this, I was pissed off and, and, and raised. How though? Now that I've calmed down, and not, not my friend who went out the, to quote my friend who went for a second, he at the he believes, and I quote, that this entire story is actually, actually from, actually from Angel. The old um, Angel series, yep. Which, for your own with that, is a limited backstory. Um, back in the old Angel series, um, Angel's son got, got kidnapped by this um, hunter guy who raised for the Angel's son to hunt his own father. Meaning that Joel basically doing the same thing to John. He reprogrammed him to be what Dr. Manhattan wants him to be. And the and I had to read that quote at the because Lenny actually could be right about this one. And I think that suggestion actually makes a ton of sense. Let me explain. Because Dr. Manhattan love Dr. Manhattan and we, we we don't we all know he's a tinkler. He likes to mess with things. And since we all know and John did it all a plan by Joel or Dr. Manhattan why did we bring this entire plan into you, Big John, out of weapon again at the Superman and Young Father? Think about it. Joel but he probably brainwashed them and used them in order to, to cause these wars. Now, do I still like this idea? Um, no, I don't. But this suggestion does kind of make a lot of sense. And I give my friend that the Millennium is on to something. Now, that being said though, do I, do I want this to be permanent? No, I'm hoping this is all temporary because I want John to be back to the kids I know and love from the very beginning. I don't want him to stay like this permanently. Because I love John, I love Superman, I love Will as a family. That's what got me into Superman to begin with. To see John all grow up like that, that just infuriates me and pisses me off. That being said though, I'm going to give Bring this the better and then I'll give me some answers. Now, would, would I like the suggestion if it's good, if it's not stupid? No, but if it's not stupid, if it's smart and it actually makes sense, then fine, I'll give it a pass. I still don't like the idea of an age of John to be a 16 year old biggity social perf or something like that, but. Since the certain does give us always certain answers of why he's like this, maybe we'll get a better explanation of why John turned out to be into this monster. Now, if I'm wrong and it turns out to be completely bullshit, I'll be pissed off in more ways. But at least we find more information out. And 
I'm hoping beyond hope that there is a way to save John Superboy and have him not turn just turn back time and maybe get John back to do a little kid self all, maybe kid self. But that's just me wishful thinking at this point. Until the actual issue comes out, what did hope we have for everyone at this point? But this does have to wait now in the question. What does this mean for Super Sans? Like I said previously in my other video in Geology, I would and where that Super Sans got destroyed. But if it is temporary, and does that actually mean there is a small chance John could be turned back to normal, maybe turn back to the little kids all over again, I'm just going to actually lose some hope. Because there is a small, small, small window chance that John could, could go back to the little kids that we all don't love. I hope. I hope. Like I said, you know, I'm glad it starts here, but until until I do kind of February, what did hope for the worse? was? And and until until we have to see actually issue itself, not just the cover. I'm just gonna hope for the best and pray to God John that the little kid around in love and not just the teenager and psychopath. Like I said. I'm, I'm pointing to God here, people. I'm grinding straws. I'm also hoping that no, another X-Men will be getting I'm hoping Lord finally actually sees the sun again, and maybe we can, we can have it both Superman and John and the Lord back to family again. That's all I can hope for at this point. But until then, what's it? Wait for, hope for the best and pray for the worst. Anyway, dumb. I'm going to tell you about this news. On the boy, um, on the boy side, uh, we're going to see John and John in the train with Joel. Maybe, maybe we'll find an answer on it, why he's like this. And maybe we'll find an answer on why the Lord left him. Which I still don't like that, I hate that, but... I'm just going to hope everyone works at this point. I'm just going to hope for the best case scenario. Worst case scenario... It, it, it all falls apart and I get pissed off. But who knows? We have to wait and see happens. Anyway, um, don't my bar on the new series of Superman issue eight on John, on John Samuel and Superman's fate. Um, please don't comment on the you think about the series team. Do I get to it? Also, what you mean, John Samuel and Superman's um, um, fate at the end of the issue coming up, boy? Please don't comment on the Also, I can put your bar on Twitter. Please come on my channel. Bar on Twitch. Bar on Stardust. And please get a bug and use all the bullshit. And please write this video if you can. And um, I'll talk a little. Long live su long live Superboy, good job, Sam McCann, and long live Super Sense. And the call my friend Ren, um, Ren, the reason is, thank you for the actual, um, thank you for the actual um, quote. It really helped me out. So go check out his channel if you can. Um, I'll talk a little. Long live Superboy. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Superboy. See ya.